stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere, greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna break that, break that Rubik's Cube, that, um, that crazy things you find in, in a, a lot of churches, Christian churches, you see a lot of single women in there, and you wonder, well, why are these women single? Why is the church full of a bunch of single women, but they, they seem to be praising God, they seem to be involved in the activities, they're in the choir, they're ushers now, they want to be involved in, in, in the announcements, what's going on, they want to be all over the place, just busy bodies in the church, and I wonder why these women are like single. Why is it why is it such an epidemic of single Christian women? And so accidentally I was watching this um dating show where these uh men line up and a woman comes out or a bunch of women line up and a man a man comes out. They ask a series of questions, you know, their own questions and by asking a series of questions, either either guys uh, pop their bloom and say, I don't want any parts of it, or either guys hold on to the bloom because they want to talk to them. So I saw a series of three different women that came out. And there were seven, seven guys, the same guys. Three, two of those women um, profess or claim to be Christians and wanted to find Christian mates. Um, a few of them said they didn't want, they didn't want guys who smoked or or guys who had uh, children and stuff of that nature. And um, so they proceeded to go down the line. So give you an example. The first woman came out with seven guys there. When she says that she wants a guy that's a Christian, several guys bust the bloom. So out of the seven, three bust the bloom automatically right when she said that. So those are the gentlemen that they go and talk to first. Who bust their balloons first? So one gentleman said, I'm a Muslim, I'm not a Christian. The other gentleman says, um, I enjoy smoking a marijuana recreationally. Another guy said he had um, he had two daughters from early relationship in his life when he was really young. So they, they, they busted blooms immediately. So she went scanning through the other guys who hadn't busted their blooms yet. And what was she looking for in, uh, other than she, she claims a, a Christian, a Christian man, a guy, you know, a guy that loves Jesus, right? So... She, she chose some guys or looked at these guys and, and said, well, you know, what is what is your relationship with God? What is your expectation of life? What do you want to do? We're given a series of answers. So after the series of answers, it seemed like the more questions that she asked, the more guys popped the bloom. They didn't like, didn't like the fact that, you know, uh, maybe uh, what she did or her lifestyle or, or, or family or just location they might be located in Arizona maybe some people are located in other parts of the United States so they figure oh, I didn't want a long distance relationship pop and bloom one guy one guy stood up there for two of these women who, who said said they're Christian women now said they're looking for a Christian mate two guys so this, this one guy stood up there held the bloom and the woman came around to him and he said yep yeah, I'm a Christian man love God I go to church, you got a local church. If I don't go to church, I'm watching, I'm watching it on Sunday programs, I'm watching services. I'm not married, I have a study job, I'm a Christian guy, no children. Both of these women, on both occasions, bust this guy's bloom because he they claim he was too short. Too short. Now, this is this is how you this is how you figure out how you figure out the, the Rubik's Cube, how you figure out why is the church full of so many women who are not married, you know, and sitting up in the church, uh, and maybe they're praying for God to bring them somebody in there. Well, this is what happens. When I notice they bust the guy bust the guy's bloom, right? And they stayed because he wasn't he wasn't tall enough, right? I thought to myself, are you being led by the spirit? Or you being led by flesh. Because the flesh is one thing and the spirit is another thing. Now many people in the house of God, they're in the house of God and claim to be Christians. You know, and it's it's not me to say anything. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repent of your sins, you're going to heaven. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You're going to heaven. You're a Christian. I, I'm, I'm not, I can't state one way or another whether you are, whether you aren't, or who made that 
maybe been in a private home and or and with a, with a bunch of people watching where they made that that uh, that uh, confession of forgiveness of sins and accepting Jesus Christ, Lord, and say they don't don't know. But I know that if you're led by the Spirit, it supersedes physical. The Spirit is going to bring you somebody that that you need. Somebody that's going to be that. That they make for you. Somebody that's going to be a good father for your children. Somebody that's going to stick there with you through, 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 through the hard times and the, and the brutal times. You know, you're gonna get that kind of guy. You know, and it seems like they don't want that guy. They want the guy that the world wants. All them stay they want a guy taller, six something, six three, six five, six something else. And all these women themselves were maybe average height women, maybe five five. Five, four, you know, average height women, but once this taller guy, most of them say they want a taller guy, darker complexion guy, you know, they want they want this type of thing. This type of, you know, stereotype. They want taller, at least Afro American, these were black women or Afro American women, whichever whichever ones, that, you know, family came through you know, slavery or just came over here after slavery, whatever, you know, black American, Afro American. So, height, all about height and, and, and complexion. And I thought to myself, I said, well, if you're looking for a specified height or complexion, and you want a Christian man, you know, someone to build with, someone you raise that family with, somebody going to honor you, love you, be a husband to your children, and you're studying looking for the physical, for whatever, whatever, Whatever book you read, whatever girlfriends you talk about, whatever guys they say they like. And so this is what you decide you want that. And all those guys in the line, seven of those guys in the line, three of them met that qualifications. But they popped their bloom wanted nothing to do with her, all because she professed in being a Christian. They were they were men who they didn't appear to be evil men or angry men. They just men that's that's their life. They don't they don't. They don't believe in Christ. They, they don't. They don't follow religions. They smoking that weed. They living their life. Those are the guys that when they when they ask the question, "Well, you, you attract this guy? Yeah, I'm attracted to him. I see myself dating him." But but he, but he said, "Yeah, you look attractive." But I wasn't gonna go with the religious stuff. But that but that one guy who was a Christian guy, that one guy who was you know willing to looking looking for a family, one woman. That's the guy they did not. That's the guy that they turned away. Of course, it's hype. Now. Granted, these women all wear heels, all wear heels, you know. So it's giving them, it's giving them two or three inches, I guess, right there. So the guy is five ten or five nine or something like that, and and she's uh, normally five five, and, and she's looking five eight. And I'm about the same height as this guy. I mean, that was her decision. Such a, such a, such a, um, such a, I mean, such a, a, a lack of intelligence. A lack of being led by the Holy Spirit, a lack of everything that you decide. Well, I, I can't deal with that guy. It's all about physical. Now, you know, I've been married, man, since 1983. It's 2024. My wife does not look like she looked when I first married her. I don't look like I looked when I first married her. Well, my body, my anatomy, my face, my this, my that doesn't look the same at all but if you if you're getting married and, and you say well we're gonna marry us we're gonna marry for better for worse for sickness of health we're gonna have a meeting of the minds we're gonna try to understand things we're not gonna rush to conclusions we're gonna have we're gonna focus on what's important in life raise our family make sure there's, there's no 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 divorce and somebody's taking care of this one somebody's watching that one and they all mixing all crazy we took our time and we raised our four children together. We stayed married and still married. We have disagreements all the time. Just had a disagreement today. I have disagreements about stuff all the time. We try to talk it out, fill it out, come to a good conclusion, or meet other minds. We try to get it on the right course. And I think about somebody choosing somebody just because of a, a height factor. Well, I mean, I mean that's not that's not even the just that's not even the. That's not even the top of the ice, you know, that's just the top of the iceberg. That's not the whole iceberg that's in the ground, you know, that's in the ocean. That's just the top of it you're saying. You know, you, you find somebody that's tall and dark or whatever, they might not even, can't go down the road with you. Soon things get hard, they're running away. Don't want to work, uh, 
don't want to support anybody. Maybe they think they the prize and a woman's not. All kind of things. And you find this in the churches all the time. Don't have nobody. They sing and you wonder why. What's going on with the men are? The men are out there. They probably come in contact with them. It's like, oh, I don't like that guy. I'll wait for the next one that comes or, around the corner. I'll, I'll see smiles because it's one thing about females and men. And a, a female that's not very attractive, can have a halfway decent body, is going to have some man out there, some man going to holler and say, hey, baby, how you doing? Can we get together? Can we hook up? And all, they, all they're saying is, can we have sex? Can we get together? Blah, blah, blah. That's all they're, all they're really saying, you know. And one might say, well, no, or yeah, or yeah, why don't you give me a call? Here's my number, and all that, all that blah, 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 you know. And, 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 and they, they, they tend to maybe have sex more frequent than men can have sex. They've been offered sex more frequent than men have been offered sex. So these men who don't get sex as much become deprived as far as sex is concerned. In, in, in the physical world, in, 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 the, in, in the, the earthly world, right, you know, not the spiritual realm. They have more, more thirsty for sex, you know, more willing to go the extra mile. Maybe take them out to a dinner they don't want to go, to a movie or show they want to go, but they only really, really just want to have sex, right? You know, so, uh, you know, you got that you got that woman who bounces back and forth. Maybe somebody in church go out, have casual sex, maybe, you know, no mate, and show back on Sunday, she's dead on Sunday, poor, clapping her hands, ready to go, you know, and, and, and no, ju no judgment because, Bottom line is God will forgive you. You know, once you accept Jesus Christ, Lord, say, repent of sins, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You know, you can you didn't earn your way in there by works. You can't earn your way out of there. You're going to reap what you sow. So you, you did something. You're going to suffer what you've done is earth. But God's not going to pluck you out of his hand. You, you're going to have him anyway. But your life is going to be lived the way that you saw it. The way you sort your seed, the way you live your life, make it to do things, that's how your life is going to live. A lot of them be living with old women, never get married, or get married later, and, and all the type of thing, and uh, miss the whole life of enjoyment with someone they could have been with. Because they felt like, oh, I, I settled. Uh, I wanted a toilet. I wanted this or that. And I just couldn't seem to find that. So I said to myself, well, if I can't find that, I'm, I'm just not going to do anything. Such, such a lack of... Um, not only intelligence in, in doing that, but just a lack of being led by the Spirit. Because God could have bought you who you needed, who he knew would be the right person for you. But in your eyes, it was the wrong person because you were looking with physical eyes and not with spiritual eyes. So that's the Rubik's Cube. That's the that's the hitting the, the nail, hitting a the, hitting the hammer with the nail, putting it right in the, in the wood perfectly because... A lack of being led by the Spirit, a lack of looking through spiritual eyes, a lack of, of uh, trusting in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, a lack of it. Because if you pray for a mate and you search for a mate, God's going to bring you somebody. But if your physical eyes look at the person and say, well, that's not for me. I don't want to go that way. Well, yeah, that's the way it is. You end up just being alone. And you can't blame nobody but yourself for it because uh, you have choices in life to make. So uh, I saw that disappointed. That guy stood there twice and went through that. What what a what a humiliating thing that would be to go through that. He waited through all those people popped the bloom. He had the last bloom left and she popped his bloom. One woman, then the next because his height. Five nine, five ten, something like that. I thought it was like really a, a sad um, indication of a black America or, or Afro America, what do you want to look at it? Just a fantasy-driven, fantasy thought, looking at things the way they shouldn't be, looking at it physical and not, and not spiritual. So, yep, that's why the churches, that's why churches all over the United States are filled, probably the world, filled with a bunch of single women praising God. And it's a good thing that they're praising God because if you, if you, um, if you can't find a, a mate or, or proper love when you're on this earth and you gotta live alone. Thank God that um, you know your soul is still saved. Uh, Christ still loves you. He, he's forgiven you your sins, and you're going to heaven. But in this earth, this one life, this one body you've given a chance to live on earthly realm, you live it sad and sorry because um, you never lived out your full potential in the flesh. You never been really led by the spirit, but only led by your physical desires and wants. So 
like, share, subscribe to my channel. Till next time, bye.